Hey nerds, I know this might not be the most interesting video right now, but uh, I was really happy to get her done. I I, <laughs> I really love this Shireen and I'm really happy that I managed to get her. It's just, <laughs> my goodness. But uh, I wanted to show you what I usually do and it goes into building and a lot of you were asking what, what could really be done to make her great. The only problem is that a lot of what she is is kind of very similar to another character by the name of Nino who does her best. So, honestly, you could really go the same way with that. So I'm just, I'm going to learn her some abilities. I've already inherited quite a few of them. Now, I'm just going to tell you the easiest option probably is to just, if you really want, you know, to make her really exceptionally powerful and people will probably throw this around a lot is, uh, well, just give her a Grand Blade. I mean, she can she can rock that pretty well. As much as I, I love Sharina, and I'm glad that she now gets IVs and she gets to be able to do all these things. Uh, it's still kind of kind of a little bit of a bummer that she's kind of stuck in this little one one pool right now. So for me, there's a lot of A options out there. Uh, I like to just give her abilities like life. Uh, for me, it was either Fury, Life, and Death. A lot of people might give things like Swift Sparrow. You know, but unfortunately, I have characters that I really, really want to level up and things like that, so I'm not going to be going with Swift Sparrow. And as much fun as Swift Stance seems to be, I I, I don't really feel like she can make the most appropriate um, player, um, well, not player, enemy-based uh, or enemy phase attacker or defender, maybe against other mages, of course, but even then, it, I don't know if Swift Span... <laughs> wow, Swift Stance would be all that great as an actual use right now. But the idea here is just to run her like a Nino, but I'm not going to be giving her Grand Blade just yet. I really like her egg effects. You know, her her ability to use the egg that she has is pretty, pretty powerful, honestly. And I don't even know if I'm going to have enough SP to finish her off. Oh, boy. <laughs> but Desperation, obviously, for the easy-to-use... Uh, skills. I do have her set up to get drive speed because I find that, you know, when you're a unit like this, it really just helps to have a character that has a drive or a spur around because, you know, they're mages. Typically, they're behind the melee or at least the units that will be taking the beatings. Unfortunately, though, um, I don't think I'm going to have enough SP to learn all of this. I'll have to go and redo that, but uh, let's give her a special for now. At least get her something going. <laughs> a good old new moon. I'm going to give her moon bow. It's just an easy, accessible option. But honestly, ah, man, I just... I'm kind of... Uh, it, it's kind of funny how this, this uh, whole banner came about. When you look at it, I'm just going to give you a basic gist of what I think the banner's all, like, uh, all, all about, in a way. Um... Kagero is probably the one special unit that really is just the one stand out there because, again, flying ninja is amazing. The ability to have a flying, throwing physical unit is something that, well, hasn't been seen before. And she has the stats to really match it, so, you know, a lot of that is great fun times. Um, Alphonse, of course, is kind of like Camus in a way, just as a axe unit. Uh, Sharina, we've already gone over, very similar to Nino, and of course... Catria uh, is going to be a pretty strong um, Blue Cavalier unit, but the problem is it's mostly if you can make do with that. Of course, people are just going to give her a Blade Tome and send her on her way. That's I, I'm free, I feel like that's pretty much a lot of the problems right now is that we're still kind of having that Blade Tome meta where everyone's going through that unless you're Reinhard, in which case you just have your best Tome already. But... Uh, I really like Katria. I really like her new form as well. I'm, I'm working her into an actual build, but the problem is there are a lot of Blue Tome Cavaliers out there that just function just as well and aren't a seasonal variant. But uh, I feel that's, that's the same thing that can be said for Sharina and Alphonse. Although Alphonse technically probably a lot better because Camus hasn't been seen for years and is not an axe wielder. So, uh, you know, that's a fun thing, but... I don't know. I don't know what you guys think. I don't know how you feel about this, but that was my... I was really happy with this build. At least, kind of. <laughs> I'm going to be working on it a little bit more. I, I will probably eventually work her into getting her a Grand Blade, but obviously I wanted to just kind of work with what I had right at the moment. Uh, as you can see, I still need to get her Rally and her, uh, you know... <laughs> well, her Command Skill and her Special all sorted out, but that's been my weekend. I hope you guys have been having a lot of fun fun with your bun buns 
That's that's what the title of the video is going to be. <laughs> I'm a nerd, okay? I'm weird. But uh, speaking of two Ninos, I'm still working on that plus ten four-star Nino. It's going to happen. It's going to happen one day, but then I got this thing, and I just... Ah, oh, Jesus Christ!